Hello, I'm Mark McElroy uh, from microphoneboutique.com. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about two microphones. Uh, some very basic background information for those who are interested in two microphones and may not know much. I'm going to talk about what makes a tube microphone great, why we're still making tube microphones after all these years, and uh, the important aspects that can determine the quality and sound of a tube microphone. Let's have a look. So let's start with our capsule. Here is a rather average type K47 large diaphragm condenser. It's uh, based on the Neumann design, um, one of the most uh, sought after and popular tube microphones is the U47 made by Neumann. Come on, focus. There you go, auto focus. So the next step is the tube. Here for the demonstration we have a Telefunken AC701 also a legendary tube mic tube. The next step is a quality transformer. This is an old AKG transformer that's been rewound. And the fourth aspect is the power supply. Power supply provides the correct voltages to the microphone. Here's the heart of the microphone. Everything else are just capacitors and resistors pretty much. These are the important aspects. These will determine the quality of your sound. So, um, with tube microphones, generally speaking, the simpler the circuit, the more vintage your sound will be, and usually the better your sound will be. So, these sub-miniature microphone tubes, like the 701, um, are crucial to having low noise, and um, long life because of course you see it's uh, permanently soldered into the microphone you don't want to be changing that once a year so let's start with the capsule um, the most important thing about the capsule is the metals quality especially on the uh, the membrane uh, the membrane is gold and um, the uh, it's layered on like molecularly thin very thin layer of gold however uh, gold as you know can be mixed with a lot of different uh, um, metals uh, easily and so your gold quality will depend upon your manufacturer and most of the rest of the capsule is brass also as you may know it's an alloy so alloys would differ so you want the highest metal quality going into your capsule. The tube, this is a vintage tube. These are very hard to come by these days, but there are some, some modern equivalents or some much uh, less rare equivalents that work essentially the same. Uh, there's probably about a half dozen legendary microphone tubes. And I'm going to make a video that talks about that as well. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Uh, so I won't go too in depth into this tube, but uh, your tube must be very low noise, high quality, and long life. So the transformer, the next stage, is the sneaky one because a lot of people don't realize how important the transformer is and what a transformer does. So uh, the transformer takes the high impedance signal of the tube and brings it down to an impedance we can work with. Why is that important? Because all the audio that comes through here goes to the tube, it passes through the transformer. The transformer um, quality will change the signal. You can have a great tube and a great capsule and a so-so transformer and you'll have probably a so-so sound. So what does the transformer do? The transformer um, not only, well, while it's bringing the impedance down, 
in this case uh, this is a either this is a 10 to 1 or 20 to 1 depending on your your tube how much reduction you need in your impedance um, it does uh, phase realignment it does a bit of equalization this is why it's important because it sculpts the sound as it passes through it and it either at this stage can make it magical or not and the power supply here um, this is a modern power supply from AEG you'll see it uh, takes a multi pin in for the tube side and uh, sends us an XLR three pin out uh, power supplies in tu microphones in tube microphones um, they're a little less crucial only in that they have to give the perfect voltage but there's a lot less character they impart and than like in a uh, guitar amplifier where you want a tube rectifier or some kind of really special cool rectifier that um, kind of has a, uh, a compression effect or um, some kind of sculpting of the sound because there's just one tube in most microphones because it doesn't really work in cooperation with another tube there's no uh, real um, benefit to the tube rectifier so this is a modern uh, solid state rectifier um, with uh, voltage regulation and adjustable voltages um, we find that's the best for any microphone be it vintage or new because these tubes uh, operate very differently at very different voltages and you want to be able to regulate your tone by regulating your voltages and then set it and leave it and depend on that coming back every time so other than that there are a bunch of resistors and capacitors here in the microphone body uh, that m make everything do what it's supposed to do and that's your basic tube microphone here we have an Octava MK13 this is a vintage tube microphone from 1970 they're really rare in the original form so uh, it's great to have one here to show to you so um, we're going to take a look under the hood I've removed the screws ahead of time so I don't think they're this easy to take apart um, here's the body uh, here's where the um, preamp is housed inside the body uh, here's the tube the tube is a Russian 6S31 um, it's a sub miniature high quality low noise long life mic uh, microphone tube made specifically for microphone use uh, here we have the transformer and this uh, shield here let's carefully have a look at our capsule don't try this at home because when you take uh, this off of the capsule you might be likely to damage the capsule uh, unless you're very careful or experienced in doing it uh, damage this capsule and you'll be sorry this is an M7 type capsule they're rare they are thought of as uh, some of the best capsules out there they're in all the Neumann early bottle mics uh, they're very sought after um, this is a Russian made M7 uh, but it's an exact copy of the German version uh, the Russians had access to uh, through their communist brothers at um, RFT they had access to the Gefell factory which was the original Neumann factory and uh, the Russians uh, took a lot of technology microphone technology from the Germans one reason why Russian microphones are so well thought of is over the years they hadn't changed the technology as much as the Germans did so in 1970 the Russians were still making a vintage microphone essentially uh, like a 50s bottle microphone um, 
and they were making microphones that were more like the U47 uh, rather than the um, the other models that had come about later um, including the uh, FET based designs rather than the tube uh, in the 70s they were still making high quality new vintage microphones so that's why this Octava is particularly sought after as well so those are the uh, basic guts of a great microphone um, capsule tube transformer here through the multi-pin output we provide uh, the operating voltage and we take the audio signal it goes to our power supply and then out to your mixing console or whatever you like to plug into if you plug directly into your computer that's entirely um, entirely great for a tube microphone to have this great tube preamp right there and if you're not using a, um, a vintage style preamp if you're just going into a breakout box on a computer this is going to get you that sound what makes a tube microphone great um, and there's compression that you get from the tube uh, there's that loud at any volume kind of characteristic the vocal light sits on top or if you record drums through it they are crisp and and um, and very uh, well formed so after all these years the tube microphone is still an important part of our life it's in recordings it's used daily in studios its uh, simple elegance uh, gives it a certain kind of sound quality that has been unsurpassed even though there are so many different preamp design scents so many different microphone design scents uh, it is still an essential part of recording and music so once again my name is Mark McElroy thanks for watching check out my other videos where we talk about uh, some more microphones microphone technology and audio and thank you